Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Noemi, and in today's video, we're gonna sit down and do a Q and A. Hey guys, so like I said, we're going to do a Q&A in today's video. Um, on Instagram, I did ask you guys um, for questions when that new like question feature came out um, on the Instagram story, and so I got quite a few questions from you guys, so those are the ones that I'm going to answer, as well as I've gotten some really good questions on some of my last YouTube videos, so I'm going to incorporate those questions into this Q&A as well. So I have them saved in my memos on my phone, so I'm sorry if I like look down a lot, but I just want to make sure that I don't miss any questions. What is your least favorite body part to work out? So I am not a fan of working out chest. Like when I first started um, working out and I trained chest for the first time, I remember the following day I literally couldn't even touch the skin on my chest because it was in so much pain. Like I do not like training chest. Um, just I don't really think that the striations on a female are very attractive. Um, you know I think women are beautiful. You know regardless of you know however they train. But just for me personally, like I don't like that look for myself. So I'm not a big fan of training chest. I do train chest um, and triceps together. Um, and I want to say I incorporate like two to three exercises for chest, but like that's honestly my least favorite body part that I like to train. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, this is a really good question that actually my girlfriend Kelly um, asked me on Instagram. How do you manage your time with kids? Trying to balance your life with your workouts and kids and having a baby can be hard. What would you recommend um, you know, to manage your time? So I actually do have a client that I train that um, does have kids and some of her like workout routine I've incorporated like exercises that she can do with her kids. So, um, but just like in general, like, you know, if you do have a kid and you want to, you know, start incorporating working out into your um, schedule and it's just hard to do that work-life balance or like, you know, taking care of your kid and working out at the same time, incorporate them together. Like I know there's a bunch of like mommy and me classes that you can take where you socialize with other moms and then you also kind of get in a workout with your child or, um, you know, uh, recently I did a color run with my friend Pierre and his wife and they brought like their jogging stroller and had their little girl, you know, in the stroller as they ran the race. So you can go like take out your stroller and go jogging with your child, you know, have them entertained with a toy or like some, you know, a video or a movie or something and then go out and, you know, jog around your neighborhood or go to the park and jog. Um, you know, since it is summertime, there's a bunch of activities that you can do with kids outdoors as far as like hiking, you can go swimming. Um, you know, just, you know, get like do some form of exercise that, you know, you can get your kids active and you can be active at the same time. You guys can enjoy each other's company. That's the best way I can say that if you're raising kids and you're having a hard time working out, try to incorporate both. That way, you know, you're spending time with your kids, but then yet you're also getting a really good workout. And that's helpful for them because it keeps them active as well. So that's like the best way I can answer that question. And so like with my one client, um, their kids are into um, swimming. So I've incorporated, you know, different swimming exercises that they can do while their kids are, you know, having fun. You know, she's doing laps in the pool. She's doing different, you know, um, aerobic exercises, which she really enjoys. And um, she also takes her kids out for hikes and um, goes for walks and things like that. And so just there's so many opportunities and so many things that you can do. Like don't think that you're limited by your circumstances. So. Um, yeah, I hope that answered your question. <laughs> um, do you wear hair extensions? No, I do not. This is real. This is all mine. So my hair is real. Um, my nails are real. <laughs> my eyelashes are real. Um, what else um, do women enhance as far as like false advertising? Um, I don't know. Everything's real. Like, I don't know. No extensions. <laughs> I've grown out my hair and I get the keratin treatment done every three months on my hair. And when I do get the keratin treatment, my stylist does like a short trim um, for me. Like I don't really get it cut. She just kind of trims off the dead ends. And just, yeah. Like I have my whole hair care routine on my blog if you guys want to check it out. But my hair is real. I do not wear extensions. <laughs> What camera do you use to film your videos? So I recently got the Sony Alpha 5100. I'm obsessed with this camera. I absolutely love it. Um, if you look at the photos on my Instagram, um, my most recent photos, they're all taken with this camera and all my most recent videos since February have been taken with this camera. So that's the camera that I use, the Sony Alpha 5100. Let's see. What workout clothes brands do you, rec do you wear and recommend? 
So I'm kind of basic, like I wear a lot of Nike, but there are other brands that I do want to try out. I've actually been thinking about like buying some new workout clothes and doing a workout clothing haul, if that's something you guys would be interested in. But a lot of what I wear is just um, Nike, and then a lot of the tank tops are just like the cheap tank tops that you like pick up at the store that like, you know, once I've kind of sweated them out or they start like, you know, changing color underneath the armpit area, which is kind of disgusting to say, but I know you know what I'm talking about. I just end up switching them out for another tank top. Um, that's just easy for me. Um, so yeah, I do wear Asics. I have an Asics outfit and then just Nike to be honest. Those are the two brands that I wear. But I do plan on branching out to other brands. So if you guys have any recommendations, you know, leave them in the comments down below. Um, so yeah, so um, that'll be a video you guys can look forward to in the future is a uh, workout clothing haul. <laughs> What do you do for cardio? So right now, since I'm doing the 12 week prep, I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio after my upper body workout days. And I switch up the cardio machine that I use. Like one day I'll do the treadmill, I'll do the Stairmaster, I'll do um, the elliptical. Like I like to switch up um, the like cardio machine that I use just so my body doesn't get complacent doing the same movement, if that makes any sense. But um, I am gonna be wrapping that up to an hour, like as I continue to go on to this, um, as I continue to do this 12 week prep. So I will let you guys know um, what my cardio routine is. But right now um, I do 30 minutes of cardio after my upper body days and I rotate like which cardio machine I use. So that is what I do for cardio. Do you do intuitive training each week or always go by set regimen? So this is one of the questions I got in a YouTube video, which I thought was really good. So I do, I work out by set regimen each week. Like I pre-plan all my workouts. Um, however, I do listen to my body. Like if I'm sore or if something hurts, like I am gonna be flexible with my workout routine and you know make adjustments when needed. But for the most time, I do um, follow like a routine when I go to the gym. When do you foam roll? So I was foam rolling before and after my workouts, but now I'm just foam rolling on my day off. Um, or just whenever I feel sore, to be honest. Like, I love foam rolling. I think it's great. It definitely helps with recovery and, like, alleviates my soreness, um, you know, going into the next day. So I highly recommend it. But right now, just whenever I feel sore and on my day off, that's when I'm foam rolling. But before, um, when I did my foam rolling video and I was kind of learning how to foam roll myself, I was doing it before and after my workouts. Are you going to get another dog? So, um, Xena passed away about a week and a half ago, and I do not have any plans to get another dog. Um, I don't know if that's going to change in the future, but at least, you know, for right now, I have no plans to get another pet. So, so yeah, so that is a wrap, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. I upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Until next time, bye, guys.